Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to use an Xbox controller and an Android to emulate a Wii Remote in Dolphin. The first thing you're going to want to do is install UDP Wii Hook. I'm going to leave this application in the description. Uh, you're going to download it and extract it to your desktop or wherever you want it to be. And you're just going to leave it here for now. The second thing you're going to need is UDP Remote. This is an Android application. You are going to have to install this on your Android. And the last thing you're going to need is these config files, which I will leave in the description. Now let me show you what you need to do on Android. Now from your Android device, you're going to want to go to where you installed the file. Here to my downloads. And you're going to want to install the APK. After it's finished installing, you can click open. It's going to ask you to configure your gyroscope. Here, just uh, leave it in the first option, gyroscope, and click OK. And that's all you're going to need to do for now. After installing UDP mode on your Android device, go back to your PC and open up the UDP Wii Hook. This will open a command prompt that will let you connect your phone and PC together. To do this, your phone and PC need to be on the same Wi-Fi connection, or the same network. After running UDP Wii Hook and double checking that your phone and PC are on the same Wi-Fi network, you can launch UDP Mode from your Android device. And now you will see four connections. If you don't see four, that's fine. If you don't see any at all, that's an issue, and you need to double check that your PC and your phone are on the same Wi-Fi connection, and that you have ran the UDP Wii hook. Now, just click uh, the first one here, and then connect. And then you've successfully connected your phone to your PC device. And now you will be able to use this application to emulate a Wii remote in Dolphin. You may now set up Dolphin. The first thing you are going to want to do is head over to your documents folder. Here it is for me. I'm going to want to go to uh, Dolphin, which is over here. Config. Uh, we're going to start here at DSU client. And you are going to want to copy this section of the config that I will leave in the description. This first area, server enabled, true, and then whatever copy, paste it here, and make sure to save it. If you don't have dsuclient.any, you can just make one. It won't uh, cause any issues. Now the second thing you're going to want to do is find this Wiimote new any. If you don't have it, just make one and go to edit. And here you are going to copy the second part of the config file. I will leave it in the description. Just copy it and paste it into this area here. Uh, if you see four, four of these, it's fine. Just just delete all of it and replace it with uh, with uh, this this thing right here. Just copy and paste it over here. If you want to set up multiple Wii remotes, uh, copy and paste it four times and just change this from a one to two and then three and four and so on. And uh, mine looks a bit different because. Uh, I will be showing you guys how to set up an Xbox controller as an unchuck also, but if you just need the Wii remote, like if you're playing uh, new Super Mario Bros, this is the config you're going to want. So just copy and paste it into this, this file right here, and you should be able to open up Dolphin. If we do that now, you will see we are creating a new client, we're just starting the server, and Dolphin is picking up our phone, and it's going to register as a Wii remote. Now if we go over to controllers, and make sure you have Wii Remote 1 selected as the emulated Wii Remote. Go to configure. You will now see a new device, DSU Client UDP Wii Hook. And as you can see here, if we go to motion, um, motion input, I have a gyroscope and I'm able to move around. I'm moving my phone around right now. My Android device, it's moving the gyroscope around and the accelerometer. And uh, if you've done this, Step, if you're to hear the step, um, your your phone is now acting as a Wii Remote, and you've basically completed all you needed to do. Now, if you played, a, if you were to launch a game like uh, 
New Super Mario Bros. on the Wii, you can uh, use the application as is and you won't need to change anything. But for my purpose, I want to play Mario Galaxy, you're going to need to do a few extra steps. Yeah, now I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Xbox controller as a nunchuck in case you want to play games like Mario Galaxy. The first thing you are going to want to do is head over to your controller and make sure your um, your phone is still connected or your Android device and that your uh, UDP Wii hook is still open. And now that we're here, we're going to head over to extension and make sure it's on nunchuck. You don't need this checkbox because we're not going to be using Motion Plus for our nunchuck. Uh, head over to extension this is where we're going to set up our nunchuck keybinds and um your first uh problem is trying to get your controller to register an input here and uh you can't hear but i'm trying to move up on the stick on my xbox controller but it's not being picked up by dolphin now that's because dolphin is looking for an input from our our android device our dsu client right our udp phone whatever it's not being picked up so we're going to need to change this to all devices and we're going to try it again. In my case, it's not working. It might work for you right off the bat, but for me, it's not working. Now, a solution to this, if you're using an Xbox controller, is to try a different button. For me, up on the D-pad works. Now, that would be fine if I wanted to use up on the D-pad, but I don't want to use that. I don't want to use my D-pad to play Mario. I want to use my stick. So to solve this issue, we are going to right click and now we have a more like a uh, in-depth look at what button we we have pressed and um, here it is showing two inputs that is because dolphin likes to think my controller is actually two controllers but in reality it's still one so um we're only going to need one of these and i'm going to choose the x input one because it's probably the one you guys are also going to have here i have x input gamepad pad n which is the d-pad up but I'm going to show you how to change this to something else. Now, if we head over to X input, we can now see all the buttons on my controller. Now, which one is the, the stick? I'm moving the left stick, and now we see some values changing. Yes. So here it shows us kind of in like a gamepad notation of what uh, button is being pressed on my controller. So up is going to be left, uh, left Y axis plus. And then down is going to be left y axis minus. So we can, I guess, infer that this means that the left stick, up, down, left, right, are these four, I guess, no notations over here. So I'm going to want to change up to from pad n to left y plus. Now when I go up, the stick now moves upwards. And I'm going to have to do this for all these other ones over here. So for down, I'm going to change it to this, but I want it to be minus the y-axis because I want it to be down. That works. Left. It's this. And now that we're going on the x-axis, I need to change this to x, but I'm going left. So it'll be negative or minus. Now that works. And if we're right, we're going to do the same thing. X but we can leave it on plus. So now I have the full range of motion on my nunchuck without having any issues. I can calibrate it here, make the fucking circle, iron all the issues out, add a dead zone, and now I have added a stick to my um, my Wii remote. A nunchuck, I've added a nunchuck. And uh, furthermore, we have to add the buttons. So I want to have the Z button. I'm going to click on my X input. Uh, I want the Z button to be left trigger. So I'm going to press left trigger. And as you can see, this one's moving. So that must mean that it has to be trigger L. So I'm going to paste our little thing again. And I'm going to change this to trigger L. Now I press trigger L. The Z button is being pressed. I'm going to do the same thing with the C button. I will not change this. Let's get rid of this. Boom. That works fine. And now we can change the device back to DSU client and the buttons are still being picked up by our controller. And now Dolphin has successfully picked up two devices at once. Uh, another option you may want to do 
personally for me, I like the A, bu a button being on the on my controller because the app application doesn't allow you to remap the button locations, which I really don't like, but it's just something I kind of have to deal with. So I bound A to thumb L, which is left stick. I'm pushing the left stick right here. It's going to press A on the Wii remote. And now I have set up my, my, my controller. And now if I want to play Mario Galaxy, Now I'm able to move around with my nunchuck, I guess, using an Xbox controller. I'm able to press the Z button. I'm able to change, use, uh, change the camera with C. I am able to jump. And now let's test out the Wii Remote. I'm able to shake the phone in order to do the shake command. I'm able to use the pointer. I'm able to change the camera with the little joystick on the phone app. And I'm able to, able to press B to shoot bits. If I press the home button, that works too. Uh, plus and minus also work. I don't really know what they do with Mario, but it's fine, they work. And everything works the way you ex you'd expect it to, which is great. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to support me, a like and a subscribe would be very appreciated. I just found this application and how to do this a few hours ago and I thought it was so useful that I'd try to make a guide for it so other people that have the access to these tools and want to play Mario in a more enjoyable manner for me I don't like playing Mario on an Xbox controller because I, I like being able to shake the remote like I used to on Wii and it really fills me with nostalgia because I used to play a lot on the Wii and this really brought back memories of me shaking my controller and almost throwing it at the wall so yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Subscribe.